So now in this video, we have a 555 timer. It's making a passive buzzer click. So the passive buzzer clicks when the voltage changes from either high to low. We have a capacitor to uh, limit how long the capacitor can uh, pass current right there because um, otherwise it's gonna waste current. We have the clicking there at that level. The lamp's at its lowest setting. I just set the lamp to its brightest setting. And of course I can also take a flashlight and we can buzz it like that. Now I am going to pluck the 10 microfarad capacitor right there. This is a, it says a 474 right there. So that's 470,000 picofarad, very small um, capacitor. That's the same as about half of a microfarad right there. So there you can see we got a buzz and you can see if I change the light level, the buzz will change as well. And uh, what I wanted to show was we can uh, alter the noise like that. Of course, it's not terribly exciting, uh, probably getting annoying by now. So we're gonna end the demonstration there with the power on. So I put the capacitor back and uh, we'll leave the uh, power off. But you can see the passive buzzer right there and we have a, another 10 microfarad capacitor. I just used the equal values. You might be able to go lower than this and be perfectly fine. Just so long as enough current flows for us to get a click. After that point, you just got wasted current. Be aware of that, but as long as you got a somewhat low value capacitor right there, there's really not much wasted uh, current. So passive power depends on a brief amount of current flowing through it for a click. So when the output's high, we get the capacitor charging. That's why this is a polarized capacitor. You gotta put it in the right way. There's a gray band over here. It's not showing up too well on camera, um, but uh, that's the negative side. That's also the shorter lead. Longer lead is the more positive side of the capacitor. It's headed to the output uh, right there. So output is high. You don't get the full five volts. Um, you can probably charge this up to four volts in this circuit. Um, because current will uh, stop at some point, um, but that's as much as it can charge. It makes a direct connection to ground though when the output's low. We're going to come to what that means. But since this is wired in A-stable mode, the output just keeps changing high and low. When it uh, connects to ground, then we have our discharge path for the buzzer, or I mean the capacitor. Discharge path for the capacitor, which includes the buzzer. Buzzer is part of that uh, path, and so it's going to click. Current is the same in a, a straight circuit like this in all parts so charges click and then discharges click right there pretty straightforward pin four that is the reset pin so pin four if it sees a ground connection or close to it pretty close it's going to hold the output low no matter what you do we don't want that in the circuit we get it to the farthest voltage away from zero volts uh, the five volts in this case it uh, disables the pin. Pin's not doing anything until it sees basically zero volts. Now, let's get to the timing part of the circuit. First off, this 220 ohm resistor, that's as low of a value resistor. I want to go with a five volt circuit because pin seven, when it's a quarter watt resistor, because pin seven connects directly to ground at the same time pin three is connected directly to ground. They both make a great connection to ground. So without resistance, that would be a short circuit. We don't want that. So we got a minimum amount of charge resistance right there. And then the photo dial, or, uh, not photo dial, photo resistor. Photo dials are similar, but this is a photo resistor or light dependent resistor right there. Um, you got the 220 plus whatever the LDR resistance is right there. Capacitor charges two thirds supply voltage Pin six sees the two thirds supply voltage, and then the 555 timer sets pin seven to ground and sets the output low. Output was high while the capacitor was charging. And uh, now the capacitor discharges through the light dependent resistor headed to ground right there until it gets to one third supply voltage. Then the trigger pin sees that one third supply voltage or less, and it tells the output to go high right there. And pin seven turns off basically. It uh, disconnects from ground and it's a dead end right there. So when a capacitor is discharging as well, pin seven is connected to ground, 
the current going through the 220 ohm resistor doesn't uh, impact that at all. It's also getting sucked right to ground. So you got both resistances while it's charging, so it's going to take longer for it to charge. Output's going to be higher um, for a longer period of time than uh, when it's uh, low. You know, something to be aware of. It always is, but uh, not a big deal in this uh, circuit. So that's a connection point, obviously, and uh, you know, a lot of people would put dots on all these points uh, right there, but I don't want to make all those dots. So if I had a spot where they didn't connect, let's say that line keeps going, they don't connect, I would make a little jump. So there's two systems for uh, doing this for these simple uh, circuits. I just do the uh, no dot for connected and a jump if they're not connected. If I had a really complicated uh, circuit, then it would make sense to have a bunch of dots and no dots right there for connections and no connections. So really bugs a lot of people. Um, that's why I'm mentioning it. Um, but uh, I want to mention why I do that. So just be aware of that. If you're looking at schematics, if you see dots, then where there are no dots are not connected. The dots are connected. And otherwise, if you see a circuit like this, um, where there's no dots, but you can see connections, then you know there are connections. And uh, again, if, if it was crossing over where it's not connected, I'd have a little jump drawn instead. So um, yeah, that about uh, covers it. The uh, resistance, as I said before, determines the timing, but so does the capacitor value right there. When I used a approximately 0.5 microfarad capacitor instead of this one, the clicks went about 20 times faster, so fast in fact, that it turned into a buzz. Um, unless I got it, you know, really, really dark. So be aware of that, but in any case. Um, went on much longer than I expected, but hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.